Hey guys, if you want to send an email with a discount attached to it, you're going to need to set up a coupon code. Now previously you'd have to go through Shopify and directly do it manually, but these days you can actually do it pretty quickly directly within Klaviyo. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a coupon code within Klaviyo, and then I'm going to show you how to attach it to your email so you can send that email out with the discount. Now this process is going to work the exact same way if it's for an abandoned cart email, for a welcome series, or even if you're just running a sale that you want to send out. So with that being said, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to get started. Now before I begin, I just want to make it clear that this is only for Shopify users. So if you are using something else like WooCommerce or Bagento, this is not going to work. So this is just for Shopify. And you need to make sure that your Shopify account is already integrated within your Klaviyo account. Now if your account isn't already integrated, I do have a video that you can watch. I'll add it in the top banner so you can click that before you start this video. Now if you have already integrated your Shopify account, it should show up with some Shopify triggers at the top on your dashboard. So here I am on the dashboard and I can see that my triggers are Showing up, which means I'm already integrated the account and I'm ready to start. Now, step one of this process is going to the left hand tab, scrolling down until I get to coupons and clicking coupons under content. And I click create Shopify coupon on the top right. Now, what I need to do is select a coupon name. Now, I need to make this name specific and it has to do with the sale that I'm running. So for this one, I'm going to call it spring sale. And if you can tell, I haven't used a space. It needs to be one word. If it's going to be two words that you want to add, like I've done spring sale, just add an underscore between the two. So it's still not separated by a space. This is not going to work if you add a space. So something to keep in mind. Over here, you get the option of adding a prefix. I don't usually add this, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Now, when I scroll down below, I get the option of between a fixed amount, percentage or free shipping. So for me, I'm going to do a 30% off percentage sale. So I'm just going to say percentage and then we're going to click 30. Here you get the option of selecting specific products that are going to be discounted. So if you have a certain collection on sale, say t-shirts, which are just going to be 30% off or pants or whatever it might be, uh, whatever products you sell, uh, you can select specific collections. Or if you want to do specific products, obviously if it's certain products, you can also do that. Now I'm just going to click uh, entire order, which basically means anyone can add any product to their cart and they'll just get a 30% off discount if they use uh, the voucher. Now this is the one section that it's going to be slightly different for a flow and a campaign. It's not that much different. But basically, if you're running this discount for a flow, like an embed and checkout or a welcome series flow, I recommend having at send time selected for activation date. But if you're running this discount for a campaign, like a sale, like a spring sale or a Black Friday sale, then make sure these dates are selected for pretty much the same dates that you're running the sale. So activation date would be whenever that date starts um, and then expiration date would be on a specific date. So that would be for a sale. Now, if you're running it for a flow, do at send time at the start. And then for the expiration, you can do say 14 days after the code is initially sent. So now with that being said, I'm just going to do it for a campaign. So I'm just going to do on a specific date for both. So I'll say it starts at November 1st and it ends on November 8th. So it's one week. Cool. Now I've completed all these questions and I'm just going to click create coupon on the top right. Now, as we can see, the 30% off spring sale coupon has been created in my Shopify account under the coupons page. Now it's ready to attach it to an actual email and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go to the campaign. I just created this basic template for a spring sale. And what I need to do is wherever I'm going to add the code. So here it says with code. What I need to paste here is this text. So this is very specific. It's not very user friendly, but basically you need to copy this exact text and you need to paste it in. I'll have this text out in the description below so you can just copy it so it's easy for you to find. But this is what you need to paste. So the way that we're going to add our coupon code to this email is in this script where it says name of your coupon, we basically add in the name of the coupon that we just created. So I'm just going to replace it over here. So as we can see, it was spring underscore sale. So exactly the way that it's written, I'm just going to paste it in over here. So it's spring underscore sale. And as you can see, I've added no spaces. The quotations should look exactly the way that they are right now. And another sign that it's working correctly is that I've got a blue dotted line across around the entire section. So this little rectangle should show up around uh, the text. Now, what I'm going to do to test this is I just click preview and test. And this is what's going to show up. It's going to say with code spring sale and it's going to say preview 
in big letters. This is just the way that Klaviyo shows a preview for coupon. Now, if it shows up like this, then it will show up correctly within your email. Now, if you want to actually send a test email, it's still just going to show up as preview. It's not going to show you the exact coupon. So if you want to test this, I recommend creating a segment with just your email address in it and sending this as an actual campaign to that email. And that way you can actually see it populate a real coupon code. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your time. I hope this video has been valuable to you. If it has, please consider subscribing. It really goes a long way for our channel and drop a like to this video. If you have any other questions, just comment down below and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.